Hey folks, how's it going? I'm Josh, and I'm going to be checking out Sean Locke freaks everyone out with his bedtime routine. It's on 8 out of 10, <laughs> 8 out of 10 cats. And guys, please can you get, put recommendations below because all your recommendations are what we react to. And if you are subscribed, we react to those recommendations first. So let's jump into it. Papers asked uh, what advice he would give uh, to his younger teas. self, and he said, "Don't try too hard to be something you're not, which is the essence of acting." <laughs> <laughs> okay, if I could go back and talk to my younger self, I'd say, "Don't worry about anything. In the future, you invent a time machine." <laughs> <laughs> Took a second to click. news for British industry because one of the things you have to credit JK Rowling with she insisted the films he made in this country so all those films largely uh, British crew worked on them well, British they, production yeah. houses well maybe she should write another another she should string it out a bit that would be that would be a good well, no, thing she didn't you know she didn't write it don't you what you know she that, don't you is it a <laughs> it's a biography she met this guy called Harry Potter <laughs> <laughs> Working in a sure. coffee shop, and she just basically she wrote down his life story. Is it really a true? Yeah, it's a true story. Even the bit at the end, even the bit at the end. The bit he, with the thing with the guy. Yeah, you know how he dies from the eats the peanut. It turns out all along he had a peanut allergy. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually written a survival book, <laughs> and it's real. The unique feature about my survival book is it's edible. <laughs> there he goes, Day one, eat page one. <laughs> <laughs> Page nine, don't eat this, it's poisonous. And, uh, <laughs> give, that, give those to Sean. Give them to me. There you go, you can, you, can, you know, that, but that's the traditional way to impress a woman, is that you, yeah, it's a feat of strength, it's like a... Uh, it's I like... <laughs> <laughs> Just open it. Tough time there, Just boy. been opened, Sean. Yeah, it's a trick, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, it hasn't. I can't that's... open it. <laughs> give them to Daniel, he'll, he'll do it. You glued see. up. You've glued it up. <laughs> You have. Why would I do? Why would I do that? It's easy. Just twist it. You just twist. <laughs> oh, you guys just you do a bit. Can I ask a question? Of course you can. <laughs> Who are they? That's not my question. That's not going to change anything. You'll be surprised to find that my memory is not wiped out by that. Yours, maybe. <laughs> but, do they not hit kids in Ireland? <laughs> <laughs> the, um, so, a feat of strength or romantic gesture. What would so, I'm guessing they're from Ireland. That's why, and they're irritating. I'm, I'm guessing that's what I got out of it. But what would woo you? It's got to be a romantic gesture, hasn't it? So, what kind of romantic gesture? Um... I'd say it's something like this. What about something like this? What? <laughs> sort of like mating kind of. <laughs> you know, smash your tits together. Best way chicken. to mend a broken heart. Kill again. <laughs> <laughs> Kill again. This is passport. crazy. Go to the airport. You get on the first flight. You arrive in Leeds. Um, <laughs> You phone right and go, ha, ah, I'm in Leeds. Yeah. Dream on, baby. <laughs> I looked at that. What's so funny about Leeds? What goes on in Leeds? Is a bunch of crazy people there or something? It was like a, a reference or something earlier. I had to watch full episodes. You start again. <laughs> if I can make it here, I can make it anywhere. <laughs> I wouldn't lose because for me, technically, it's still shopping. And I hate shopping. <laughs> If I was looting and I went into one of those shopping centres, I'd loot those uh, foot nibbling fish. <laughs> wow. <laughs> some of those. It'd be great to come home with those, get them in the bath. <laughs> Where have you been? Nowhere. Okay, we met Barack Obama, okay, and he was what? like. Yeah. <laughs> You're joking. And then shook Barack Obama's hand. Yeah, Wait, like, pretty much touched you can. Just, Sorry, just, just out of his, why, why did you meet him? Well, we met the what, biggest under... world leader in the world, okay, and he was like, so what is Jedward? And we told him that it's John and Edward, and you put it together, and it makes Jedward. <laughs> <laughs> but why, was he lost or something? How did this happen? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Barack Obama opened the wrong door and got lost. <laughs> What's going on there? And he switched the light on, and you two are there. <laughs> How did it happen? He's a disappointing revolutionary, isn't he, though, Julian Assange? He's a sort of sleazy Australian in a, in a, in a, in a cotton suit that looks like he smells of urine. <laughs> we 
WikiLeaks is actually what happens up. when Australians don't work behind bars. <laughs> it's Kelly Osborne. There's one thing I'd like to say about the name. It's a strange name, Assange. It sounds mm. like, like a, a tactic in croquet. Mm. Isn't it? <laughs> if you knock your ball there, you have Assange. <laughs> 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 Look, he's like dying. Parade ground drill, like Legionnaires, Assange, <laughs> <laughs> and they all go into the shape of a croissant. <laughs> yeah, but what else does it sound like, Sean? <laughs> the surgeon would say, "Well, we've removed the prostate. Now we just have to Assange the wound." <laughs> We've got a lovely place in the Assange. <laughs> what does it sound like, though, Sean? It sounds like that rash you get, right? The rash you can get if you wax your chest too quickly. If you're a footballer. And he's got a very, he's got a lot of Assange there, the skin. <laughs> I've got Olympic tickets to see Assange. <laughs> what are you wearing? Is it Assange? <laughs> It's nearly ready, you just have to assange the vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you, if you laugh really heavily, if you try and stifle a laugh, it's sort of you've got the shoulders going, and that can <laughs> look you're like you're crying. You can just cover the... You can normally get away with it. Yeah, but that doesn't help, does it? <laughs> Is it too... Tiptoe around and say, Shh, don't wake him. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be very poor taste to hire a photographer like you do at weddings. <laughs> <laughs> can we have the widow near the coffin? Bogus. Let's do it. Who's going to catch the reef? <laughs> 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 You should get it. <laughs> <laughs> imagine just living on the moon. Like, imagine um, like, you imagine you go on a website, you can see us like living on it. Like, Hold on a sec, I'm just going to do that. Mm. <laughs> 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 I'm guessing these kids like mad annoying or something. That's why he keeps messing with them. If you and John was attacked, would you would you help out? The thing is, like, they might think I it's, they might, they might come after John, thinking it's me, and then just kill John. And I'll be like, it was meant to be. Me. Why would they be care which one? <laughs> <laughs> I would totally help out. I wouldn't run off. I'm like, I, I'd totally take down the person, yeah. and they'd be gone. I'd be like, go away, and they'd go away. I'd like call <laughs> Superman. <laughs> she's like, she's go not. away. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> Tom Way Brits break the law. I sometimes do something which is a bit naughty. I think other people do it as well. What I do is I'll record an episode of The Sopranos and then watch it before the watershed. <laughs> <laughs> Swearing in the afternoon. <laughs> you know, I'll leave the windows open so school kids can hear them. <laughs> cool. <laughs> You say you use cool a lot. I know it's because because it's too much. I know, you but want to use cool about I reckon thirty percent less. But if I don't want to say cool anymore. If I was focused, really focused, if I got in the zone, I was totally. Try focused. not to say cool for about ten minutes. Yeah, you okay. get on. Okay. There's a little challenge. Okay, cool. Mm. Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's quick. What do you think kids are most scared of? Well, in our house, it's Mr. Jangles, <laughs> which is one of the characters I play. <laughs> I thought he was talking about the mouse from Green Mile. That's what the mouse is called. <laughs> who, who is Mr. Jangles, Sean? <laughs> Mr. Jangles comes up the stairs! to be in bed! Mr. Jangles gets up there! <laughs> 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 that's actually, yeah, that's kind of creepy. <laughs> I'm afraid that's the end of the show because we have to go to bed now. <laughs> <laughs> that I, is I weird really and creepy. Funny when kids are scared of stuff, because my girls, they're not, I've got two daughters, and they're not scared of anything, but I've got a niece, and she's scared of everything. I took her to Cadbury World recently, and like they've got these big like cocoa beans walking around, so like dressed up cocoa beans, and the whole time she was like, ah! I'm not surprised. I was like, laughing at it. You were laughing 
get your niece. She was terrified on a day out. Watch <laughs> your face, Jimmy. Do the face again of her being terrified. Oh, she was she? Sorry. Was she? Was she in a Michael Jackson thriller video? <laughs> Extreme terrified. No, no, but that's how terrified. We have one more time. I'm like, could you do Mr. Bojangles or whatever it was called? And then I would have terrified. It'd be great. A little playlist. Mr. Bojangles! That <laughs> 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 oh, was creepy. It was weird. I don't do it, really. It's a joke. I don't terrify my children as Mr. Jangles. <laughs> Say that now. What, what's he called then? Ron. <laughs> <laughs> Ron, you're coming up the stairs. like a creepy stepdad. Ron's here. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> that's more terrifying. Than <laughs> Ron's here. Um, Mr. Bojangles is creepy. That's a creepy look. Just the way he does it with his arms flaring. Uh, I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna try not to scare my nieces there. My nieces and nephews. That's funny. Sean Locke's funny. There's, that's, that was really, really good. I had to look up who those kids are, though. Um, a few of the, most of the people that I've seen before, except for uh, the black lady who was telling the story. I haven't seen her in any of the videos before, or Kelly Osborne in any of the videos. Um, I think I've seen everybody else. Don't know all their names, though, so I guess it really doesn't matter in general. But I still want to look up who those two twins are. I don't know if they're, like, musical stars or if they're comedians or whatever. But he was really kind of, like, messing with them a lot, so that was funny. Yeah, I enjoy this. I mean, Sean Locke's funny. I mean, I mean, this... I think it's kind of, I won't say universally agreed upon because I haven't met anybody, but it seems to be that he's funny. The dude, he's quick with it. I haven't seen any of his stand up before, though. I think I mentioned this before. I don't know if he has any stand up. Uh, people used to ask me to react to him on this. So if there's anything else that Sean Lock is in, or if he has like a good stand up bit or something that you asked me to check out, I'll definitely check that out as well because I believe I've exclusive, exclusively checked him out on this. I can't think of anything else I've seen Sean Lock in. I could be wrong because I watch so much stuff and I just kind of, sometimes it starts meshing together a little bit at times. Um, but yeah, you guys got anything else that Sean Locke is in? Like, uh, I can, I'm completely fine with still doing, doing eight out of 10 cats, but it'd be cool to see like a stand up or something that, that kind of is more, like centralized, um, around him, I guess. I don't have anything more to say. I like eight out of 10 cats. Just like I like the, um, what I lie. Um, like what I lie to you. I like that show as well. There's a, a couple other shows you guys asked about. I'm not gonna remember the name. I really need to start keeping some of these names in front of me. That I'm going to be checking out soon as well. Um, like kind of like game shows. All right. Uh, that's all, guys. Jeez. All right. That's all for this one, guys. Hopefully, you guys are happy, safe, and healthy. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Later.